Hi everybody, this is Debbie. Um, I just posted um, my entry to um, Amanda and Monica's um, AML Awareness Challenge something children's can childhood cancer. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a long title. Um, and I called it my accidental design because this design, which I did a tutorial for, but it's kind of messed up because I was showing this as my example. Um, here's different, I mean, I made this so many times a few months ago. And here's a little piece. And then um, I had done these two, which I love, both of them. So this was supposed to be this design, but this came out. And um, I also happened, along with all of these, had this little piece that I saved because I thought it looked interesting. And it's similar to this because these, these center bands, the gold ones here, which you can't see them, they kind of it kind of closes up. You can see here, you can see that I was working with different purples. Um, it's similar, but it's not the same. And I really liked this one. So I said, hey, what the heck, I'll, I'll just make this design as Conqueror because I really, really liked it. But I'm going to have to conquer this because I've been trying and trying and trying to recreate this. And I don't have any idea. And my little card that you all know I do, I followed it very carefully. It's pretty basic. You know, I, I don't know. I made it twice and it came out fine. And I go on camera and it turns into this. Now, this... um design. This is, it's just without any um, bands. I have a small wrist and this is probably comfortable for most people but it might be a little tight if you have a bigger wrist and it spreads out nice but when you take it off it tends to kind of curl up. Now this one I put a little extension on. As you can see it's got a little bit of curl which I actually it looks really cute and if you can see it's got a really interesting, it's this is underneath See, this is like a kind of a, oh, kind of comes out over it. What do you call that? Um, like an eave or something. And this is recessed. So it's, it's really cute this way, too. So if you want it to look like this on your wrist, add, make it a little looser. And if you want it to lay flatter like this, um, make it like as comfortably tight as you can. And this is the other side of the design, which, again, it wants to curl up because it's, especially now that it's inside out. But anyhow, let's get going. Just wanted to show you that. That's why I called it my accidental design. But it's a good accident. Some accidents are good. So, to start out, our A bands are the... Um, Persian chocolate, I think they're called. I just, I absolutely love them. I'm not a brown person. Oh, I should point out first, this is your loom setup. And um, you will need the full two loom um, length setup to make it um, to barely fit your wrist. If you guys have extra, you might want to add a third, but not like do three full lengths, maybe do couple sections more just to give you, you know, make it more comfortable on your wrist. You don't have to make it too much uh, longer than the double length. But anyways, um, the four outside pins are like this and the two center are the, this. So, the A bands, I am going to use um, the sweets, one of the pinks or fuchsias or something, the 600 count. Uh, the B bands, um, what? I use the jelly gold in the center. I am going to be using the deep purple. The C um, position are these um, L E yellow. I am going to be using these twilight dark bands one of the it's a twilight dark mix so it's just one of the blues that are in it 
color D is the pastel yellow right here. And I'm using, um, this is the glow in the dark blue that came in the mixed glow in the dark. It's a little truer blue, the other one that comes, you know, just a 600 count of the blue color is uh, probably a little, it's duller and a little more on the turquoise side, I guess. And finally, color E, which is the white. So you see it, you can see it from the side, depending how you wear it. I am using maroon. Okay, so those are my colors. So let's get going. I will be placing two bands here because if you make an extension, well I didn't I usually like to make it centered, but I just threw this one. It just it looks nicer if you have to make an extension to make it double thick. And this one is actually too big for me, so I'm going to take one out and add one to this side so that the little clasp is in the center of my un you know under under wrist. Okay, so now we're gonna go here. And no, oh, I am not complaining about the heat of this room, even though I'm sweating because I finally remembered my husband told me to do this when it was too hot in here to close off the door and open up the door behind me because there's an air little you know, air conditioner, one of those ones that go in the in the window uh, in that other room. So I just let it run for about half an hour, and it's oh my gosh, the difference between this room and out there, it's like ugh, it's so terrible. But it can only get so cool because it's a small, a small um, in in wall in window condition air conditioner. Yeah, we only have like 35 amps coming to this house. It's an old mobile home from 1965, so you can't run too many things at once, or we blow this trip the circuit main circuit breaker. Then we have to wait in the dark for five minutes till it cools off. I know. Such is life. Not one of the worst things. We've learned to deal with it. And it keeps our electricity bill down because how much electricity can use can you use, you know? You're maxed out. We don't have the 125 120 amps that most houses have. So yeah, at 35 max amps. You don't use very much electricity compared to other people around here. Anyhow, let's stop talking and get to work. I'm just going to go up the side real quick. I guess I'm just going to stay on camera because it is quick. I just love, love, love the, the feel of the 600 count sweets bands. They're just so slick. They're so smooth. I go a little slow because I like to fix the band so they're not twisted, especially when they're some kind of like a dual layer. Of course, with these good cameras, even the opaques, if they're a little twisted, show up when you try to do a close up of your design. Okay. Sorry, I'm going off camera here. Okay, so you're gonna go up to the third to the last pin, then you're gonna angle to the you know, kind of the exact same ugh. kind of mirror the other side. Okay, now I'm gonna do this side, use the arm. So, for those of you who don't have Instagram, which I don't know anybody who might not, but in case you don't, I wrote on my post that uh, the name Conqueror came to me because it's like, you know, um, like in my Christian, Christian religion, um, you project faith, by faith is, you know, something you speak forth, I mean, it's something in the will of God that you speak forth, and you believe it before it happens, you know, 
and so by that same truth when I refer to a child fighting cancer any disease as a conqueror it's projecting overcoming it and we all know that our faith our belief you know has a lot to do with what happens in our lives. And sometimes there's things we can't overcome, but, you know, I feel that my fate would be a lot worse if I didn't have a positive faith that a healing is coming for me. And I could be worse off if I was a, a Debbie Downer all day long. <laughs> I don't know why they picked the name Daddy. Why couldn't it be a Donna Downer or Doris Downer? <laughs> Debbies aren't Downers. All right. All right. Okay. Next step is to take the bands we chose for B. And we are going to do this. Okay. You can do it like that or like this. You stretch it across. And use your little hook, pull one side over and one side over. But in the end, they're going to go across one, two, these six pins like this. Do not start it down here, you know, so it overlaps. You know, you don't want it to overlap these border bands. I tried that in earlier designs and it, I didn't like it. And of course you push them down as you go so that now um, I should point out these bands I'm glad I thought of it should be stretchy because you're going to be pulling them out and like these this point out and stretch them across here so there's a lot of um, you know they'll be stretched a lot and I kind of want them to have some give because the fact that this does curl up I think the tighter these bands are the more it it'll curl. So it's okay if they have a little, you know, give to them. I don't want to say for sure because I haven't tried it, but even, you know, the bands, you re reused bands might work for this, but I'm not giving it a thumbs up because I haven't, you know, tried it. You know, along with all the other bands being new to see if um, it'll be too sloppy or if it'll just give enough um, it'll relax the design enough so it stays open by itself but once it's stretched on your wrist it, it you know as I showed it pretty much opens up so just because it curls and it's um, off the wrist is really not any it's not an issue okay almost done this. You know, you'd think as cool it is in, is in here, I wouldn't be sweating. I think it's just humidity. We saw thunder clouds from south of us and I heard on the radio that there was some thunder showers happening in San Diego County and y'all think, you might think, oh, what's she talking about clouds for? You know, we, j we mostly have very clear blue skies. Um, year round so when we see all those big cumulus clouds you know, I took meteorology in seventh grade as a special cla gifted class but you know that was <laughs> I was 12 and I'm 55 but anyways uh, my daughter my youngest daughter was just marveling at how beautiful they look so this will be the last one so again you will not want to do any that you know go over the border bands so now, now we start with color C, which I chose these um, Twilight Dark Blue. It's a mixed bag. And we're going to start, we're going to do on top of the border, but not any of these down here, just where it starts going straight up. And you will end it before it angles.
faster I try to go, the clumsier I get. I have a good excuse for being slow. <laughs> it's my medicines. They really do. They do give me kind of a groggy brain. I do take other medicines to kind of offset that, but the illness also... I see I say the illness. I do not say my. I will not take ownership of that at all. Nobody should. It's the illness, the cancer, not my cancer. Oh, well, I don't have cancer, but you know, whoever it is, don't claim ownership to it at all. It's something that's just passing through your body. It's not yours, and you will conquer it. Positive thinking, except faith. That you get a higher power helping you with the battle. I know I'm doing all this in one take. I always fear that I'm going to look up and I've done all this work and the camera's not recording. I used to have that the worst problem with that, I don't know why, but um, not so much this camera, but when I got my first like real camcorder, one of the little ones, you know, I used to have one of those really big ones from the 80s, and um, 2005 on the wait, we were, we got this incredible deal, and my husband had a little extra money, so I took all six kids, my husband and myself, and we flew back all the way across the country to New England to meet my birth mom, and to see old family and stuff, family and friends, and um, so I bought a little camcorder and that thing. I swear, every time I thought I turned it on, it didn't go on, and then I go, okay, I'm done filming, hit the button to turn it off, and the recording started. So I had more footage of the ground or the um, dash of my car. It was, it was terrible. But... I, it kind of built in a permanent fear that, oh my gosh, am I filming? Am I filming? Is it on? Okay, so now we're going to take our color D, which um, are the blues from the mixed bag of glow-in-the-dark jelly bands. And we're going to go up this row. Okay, I'm going to go off camera and do the rest of this. So we're going to go up this row and this row, okay? Go all the way to the end. And then for the center, you will take your whatever color you choose, which I'm using another color, which is my E color, and you're going to go up the center like this, up the two centers, okay, all the way to where the last bands, border bands are, okay? So I'm going to give me a little break and go sit in the recliner. That one's too loose. And I will be back. Here's the loom, and I'm going to turn it around before I put on my cap, and I'm going to be using two K-bands. And the cap will extend over the two um, look, these pins that are the recessed ones. Okay. The first thing we are going to do, and I swear I followed all these instructions to make, you know, this design. Watch. I'm going to, uh oh. Got a mixed up band here. I caught that. Watch me do this. <laughs> I'm get this tutorial. Well, it'll solve the problem. I'll have spent all this time making it, but, um, you know, the extra time to do a tutorial. But, <laughs> at least I'll have figured it out. That would be great. Okay. So, see, this is what you're going to do with all these 
bead colored bands reach underneath and then stretch them across the two pins like that form a triangle and you're going to do this all the way up the loom you can do it all one side then all the other I kind of find it easier just to do try try to have them you know have these bands pulled down so that this doesn't go over you know just have it so it stays above the E bands right here which are my maroon bands so see it's going to be a lot of stretching because look how thin it's getting and we still have to stretch the other side but these um, purple deep purple bands are great got a lot of elasticity It's really weird because when um, you know, I looked over the footage of the tutorial I attempted yesterday, which brought my accidental conqueror design to life, um, I followed the instructions on my little index card to a T. So I don't know what happened because I was following it to make the other design. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I, I'm just, I just can't, like, I keep looking, you know, trying to, okay, this is how it started out, and I'm trying to study it, like, how does that go, and I, my brain cannot comprehend, and I can't un, like, unloom it in my brain to see how I loomed it. Because there's so many components, like how you how you place them. I swear, I've I've done this design so many times that this is a, this is the exact layout of the other design. So I do not know what's going on. It's making me crazy. And I wind up staying up even later because I just, like, no, I won't, I'll think about it and I won't go to sleep because I'll start thinking about it. So I try to work on it and I it's like, nah, forget it. <laughs> I'm not young anymore, so the great thing about age is, you know, I just go to sleep and it'll be there tomorrow. My 20 year old, she's, she's so cute. She's trying to make a ukulele case that she's never sung before. And so she made a quick pattern whipped together, but it was kind of all crooked and cattywampus. And so I'm trying to give her instructions and she's so impatient. And I told her, you know, just take an old sheet and cut it to how you think it should be. Just, you know, baste it, baste stitch it together and see if it fits. And then you can, you know, make any adjustments and you can use the sheet as your your pattern. Well, she um she actually had bought a um like a vinyl kind of it was supposed to be a ukulele case, but it was more like a guitar case. So she tore that apart and kind of saw some of her error. So she adjusted the material she had already made, you know, cut for her case. And then she's trying to sew, and it's on my machine. <laughs> she's having so many problems. Things I don't even know how they happen, but she's kind of like that with anything that's a machine or, uh, you know, mechanical, electronic. <laughs> and she's all frustrated now because she just wants to get it done. And... I told her I will work with her. She goes, yeah, right, so that I can go tell everybody, yeah, my mommy helped make it. I said, no. You say your mentor assisted you, you know. It's like, you don't have to tell anybody your mentor is your mom. And she's, 
Yeah, I'll still have the cool factor because it's a mentor. <laughs> oh. I'm terrible at sewing, but I've made several um, slip covers for very odd shaped sofas, so I've kind of learned how to semi do it. Okay, back to business. We've got all those B bands, and now I'm going to do the preliminary little get you know the first band set up, and then I'll get you in the rhythm of what you have to do up each side. So we're going to take these E colored bands, just the first one on each center column. It's basically just getting them out of the way for now. And then we'll take the first border band and loom that out. Then we're going to take this band. It's basically going to be like a single, one single chain, but these bands are kind of stretched out, so it's a little odd. We'll do the next, right, okay. <laughs> we pay attention to the design, my instructions that turned into this design, or else I'll wind up making a whole nother one. Okay, now, this right here the top border band are going to go up. So instead of taking them to the home pin, you're going to take them to the pin next door. Okay. And then lastly, you're going to take the bottom border band and bring it straight up. Okay. Now here's here's a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, all the way up each side, okay? One, you go back down here and grab this band, bring it straight up. Bring this top band, this is the second step, and the third step. And you can do it up each, you know, each side because the sides do not interact with each other. So just remember, when you've done this one up here, you've got to go back here. So the the way to know where you're at doing this is, see this one right here? This is going to start forming a line. So you know where this one is, you're going to have to reach in and grab the next one. See how that's forming a line? Right here. So that's one. Two, three. Okay, let me show it on the other side, then I'm going to go off camera. Let's see, where are we? Oh, yeah. One, two, whoops, two, three. Here's where it's that line, so you come to this pin. One, two, three. Okay. Show it again on this side. Okay. We know this is where we start right here because of this. So you're going to be pulling underneath getting past this one. So you stretch, pull this one out, and bring it straight forward, and then go over to this and bring it up to the adjacent, and then bring this one straight up. And you're going to do that till you can't do it anymore. Whoops. Down here, so you got to pay attention. Alright, I think I've given you enough footage to review if you need to, but you're going to do that until you can't do it anymore, and then um, once you've loomed this one over and this one straight up, just stop and I'll show you how to, you know, finish it off. Alright, I'll be back.
Alrighty. Um, as I said, you know, do the last full set. So the step three was bringing this bottom band up here. Now, as I was doing this, something about, even though I was doing it, you know, C1, two, or one, two, three, you know, as I showed you, something kind of felt out of sync. And when I got up to here, I realized I was, in, uh, something was happening. You know what? I've got to go and um, open the Sorry door. Sorry about that. I had to unlock the door. Okay. So when I got to this point, I realized something was wrong because now, well, it didn't turn out wrong, but it was wrong for the design I was aiming for. Okay. You see one, two, we have to do two of these. Where I shouldn't have. I should have just had this lap, this one to bring up. So what you do now is do this and do this to resolve that. And you can take this one band and bring that over. We'll save this one till we're done with the bringing up the um, center bands. Okay, so you to go down to here because this is that that line I showed you to be your marker for grabbing these bands. So bring this one up and this one up, and then do this one border band. Okay, so if you're unsure, just rewind it and you know, look at it closely. I wish they could do it and had a little had slow motion so you could really slowly see some some movement. Um, some of the video if you need to study it a little better. Okay, so we've already loomed this one up. So what you're going to do is the top part of that, you know, the B bands, which are purple for me, that you brought over. I'm just going to pull pull back that very skinny. I don't know if you can see it right, right there. See that right there? Okay, so you're just going to push that back and grab your bands on the third and the fourth. Three, yeah, four. Third and fourth column, and you're just going to do both of them straight up. It's pretty tight, so don't give it, you know, don't push on it too hard. You don't want it to snap. I'm not worried about it for these purples, but you know, it's one of those things if there's no way to fix that if it breaks. You have to start all over. And so you do that all the way up on that one. And then you just could do the same on this side. Yeah, I'm going to have to remember to put, turn on the air conditioning before I do a tutorial. It makes such a difference. Oh my gosh. My husband's offered to buy one of those little air conditionings and put it in the window in my bedroom. So I keep my keeping it, you know, cooler in there at night because it has one tiny little window that goes to the back of the house and there's like no airflow. I always have to have a fan on. But I don't know. I I like the fresh air. Even though I haven't cut my shades down for the night time so no light gets in. Um during the day I like I like air. I don't like air conditioning. If I can get away without it. Except right now I'm liking it.
Okay, so you can't really see what I'm doing. It's no biggie. It's, okay, this is the only one you don't have to reach, un, you know, past the uh, purple or your B, your B bands. I know that confuses somebody when I label A, B, C, D band, but since we're all using c different colors, I just figured that kind of gives us a common, you know, you lay out your bands A, B, C, D, and E. And you know which one I'm referring to if your colors are different than mine. This is so tedious when I just stay on camera just doing this repetitive stuff, but it's not like not quite a task that I need to. Go off camera for because it's not taking quite that long. Sorry you can't see me, but you should know what I'm doing. And so now all we have left are these two bands right here. And I saved them so that it could, you know, these bands would be covered by it. Just looks, I think a little more finished. Not that the ends really make a big deal of a difference. You really don't see them. So now grab a clip. And I'm going to pull these out and said this a while but I do this because I've had too many when I try to take it off and when you know most of you just keep this on, on the hook I don't know it just falls off for me okay so now I'm going to start pulling this off the loom I'm getting the sides like this first everything that I'm doing but I'm just taking it off the way I think is the easiest. easier to take off this way than the other way. The other way you have to use the hook to lift it off and it's just a little more tedious. Okay, I think it's <laughs> I think it's going to look like the conqueror that I posted on Instagram. This made it go a little bit harder. I'm just going off camera because these came off and I'm just holding it up against myself. Okay, so that's the top, you know, this is how it came off. And it's a, it's a little, it's one of those ba designs that need overnight to kind of get its shape and you will have to do a little bit of this, you know, to get them untwisted. But once you do that, give you a little preview. There you go. I think I like these colors. It's very sweet. 
very pretty and it does look like see, make sure <gasps> make sure it looks like this design see how nice and tight they are here and they're all kind of loose and sloppy it just it's just because they were you know stretched out and they have to um, get placed so you will see this on um, on Instagram you'll see how pretty it looks once I get done um, you know getting it all all the bands in order so thank you so much for watching my tutorial see that's what it did and it's not doing that now they it'll stop doing that especially once you hook it up there's the other one see it's not doing this so thank you for watching my conquer conqueror tutorial and remember to uh, pray for all those little kids with childhood cancer and pray that they will be conquerors thank you so much for watching um if you'd like subscribe to deb's thing i'd really appreciate that and of course you can follow me on instagram which would also be awesome at deb's thing have a nice day afternoon morning night evening wherever you are in the world bye bye